So the next thing that we're going to do is called Descartes' rule of signs. And what Descartes' rule of signs basically tells you is ba Descartes' rule of sign basically tells you how many real positive and how many real negative zeros a polynomial has. So define the number of positive. Basically, the number of positive real zeros is equal to the number of sign changes between each monomial, minus and then minus an even number. I don't want to. Um, positive real zeros, number of sign changes, number of sign of between each monomial of f of x. And it's that number, but then also the number minus an even number. And I'll explain that later. I know it gets everybody confused. So let's go and look at this. Um, oh, OK. Here I have positive. And I have positive. Is there any sign changes? So guess what? There's zero positive real zeros. Now you might say, well, Mr. McGlogan, well, zero is a real zero. Yes, but remember, zero is not positive nor negative, right? Can't say zero is positive or negative. Then to find the negative, it's the same thing. Find the negative real zeros, it's the same thing, except you're going to do f of negative x. Remember we did the f of x, f of negative x, like for even and odd? So let's do f of negative x equals negative x cubed plus 2 times negative x. So now just go ahead and simplify this. And what you get is negative x cubed minus 2x. OK? So um, therefore, there's 0 negative real zeros. However, we know what the fundamental theorem, of, fundamental theorem of algebra says there has to be three zeros, right? So I know that there has to be two complex zeros. I can't have four complex zeros, and I can't have three. Because remember, complex zeros only come in pairs, plus or minus, right? So I can only have two. Well, if the other one's not positive and the other one is not negative, then I know that my other one has to be the one real zero. And then it's at zero. It's not positive or negative. So we can't deal with that. This one's kind of a, you guys will get practice.